Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm Trophy. Welcome to episode two of Troph Dove Once That Look. This is just a series where I recreate looks that you guys may have seen on Instagram. You can use the hashtag or you can add me. If not, then I'm just gonna pick my own styles, you know? You yeah, know, just to see what we want. And then in the next video, I'll show my favorite looks and then everyone can vote. And then whatever is the winner, then that'll be the style that I recreate next. So in the last video, I gave you guys three different styles to choose from. This was style number C. And this style, I think, had over 60% of the vote. So this is obviously the winner. This style was not as easy as I thought it was going to be to recreate. I did have a lot of trouble with these flat twists in the front, but I got it together. I think it turned out pretty nice. So the next video, you guys are going to choose from two or three different looks, and I'm gonna have them on the screen right now. Remember, all you guys have to do is click the I above and take the poll and vote for which look you wanna see me recreate in the next video. And then, of course, in the next video, that will be the look that I recreate. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Hey y'all, so I'm starting on a twist out. I'm gonna go ahead and part away my flat twist section. I'm going in a horseshoe kind of motion. And the way that I measure is just by making sure that it's even with the arch in my eyebrows. Then I'm just gonna pin that section away and work with the rest of my hair. Next, I added my El Natural Creme Brulee to my hair for moisture and I'm just smoothing it in all over. And on top of that, I went in with my Eco Styler Gel with Argan Oil and I'm going to apply that to my edges and smooth that in with my hands. And then I'm gonna go back over it with the brush to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Next, I'm getting my elastic stretchy band for my puff and I'm just gonna work my way around that little front section and then do my puff in the back. I wrap the band twice around my head, so to do that, I just flip it over and then slowly push my hair up until I get it all into the puff. I decided to make that front section a little smaller so you can actually see the crisscross twist whenever I do that. So I'm just putting it back into the little puff all nice and neat. Then I'm just going to create a part right down the middle. I already did one flat twist so I'm adding the El Natural Creme Brulee again. And then I'm going over that with my Eco Styler Gel to so smooth in that section down with my brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and flat twist. And both of my flat twists are going inward so they're kind of facing each other. To create the crisscross in the front, make sure you're pulling on that twist nice and tightly. You don't want it to be too loose because then it'll be fat and you want it to stay nice and skinny. So I'm just tucking that into my puff in the opposite direction. So now I have a little crisscross type of situation going on. What? Why? Why? Then I secured the twist by adding a bobby pin to my elastic band and kind of anchoring the twist in my hair. After that, I untwisted the ends of it and then I went ahead and picked it out. And this is my final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.